five planetary bodies that can sustain human life. The Earth is the perfect habitat for humans. The statement is true, but unfortunately no longer up to date. Wars, genetic modifications, dangerous viruses, rapidly declining ecosystems and ozone holes, Mother Nature will hardly put up with all this abuse much longer. So, will this planet be habitable for humans 100 years from now? 200 years? A thousand years? While scientists answer this question in the negative, sympathetically shaking their gray-haired heads, the high and mighty are firmly determined to reach virgin places that no human has ever set foot on. That means making every effort to colonize the closest, or not so close, planets. But are these available anywhere in the vastness of space? It turns out they are. And though we may find it extremely difficult to live on these planets, a step-by-step -step colonization is not impossible. The first space body at the top of the list is the Moon, the Earth's natural satellite. The Moon has a number of advantages over other celestial bodies, one of these being its proximity to our planet. Even though it has no atmosphere to speak of and a magnetic field that is very weak, the Moon still has ancient lava tubes, which could be a perfect location for building the first human colonies. Constructing space and terminal bases, as well as observatories equipped with optical and radio telescopes, Developing the Moon's immense deposits of natural resources, iron, aluminum, titanium, and helium-3 isotope, that has the potential to be used as fuel for thermonuclear reactors. All that is quite feasible, and much more real than just a beautiful fairy tale. But things are more complicated than they may seem at first sight. Huge temperature variations, a two-week long day, Regular and quite perceptible moonquakes can ruin the charm of a space trip to the moon. Based on that, let's take a look at other alternatives. Mars. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry now knows that NASA is shooting for a crewed mission to the red planet by the 2030s. But will humans manage to survive on Mars long enough? They definitely will. Though not without certain challenges. Mars and Earth have very much in common. A warm season on Mars is followed by a cold one. However, the conditions are much worse. The seasons are two times longer and switch from unbearable heat to bone-crushing cold. Apart from that, there are sandstorms on the red planet, an unwelcome bonus which can easily damage all the equipment installed. Nevertheless, a competent approach to constructing well-protected space bases will take humanity through the initial stage of colonization and even hold back the effects of space radiation exposure. Ceres is a dwarf planet between Mars and Jupiter, with its orbit situated in the main asteroid belt. This planet could become quite a comfortable place for the human race. By astronomers' estimates, Ceres might be composed of 25% water, which means it contains more fresh water than the Earth. Located between terrestrial and Jovian planets, Ceres can be viewed as a natural base for interplanetary travel. Due to its low gravitation, cargo transportation from Ceres will be highly energy efficient. Lying in the asteroid belt, Ceres may become the main base for asteroid exploration, mining their mineral resources but colonization of Ceres may be hindered by other, no less powerful factors. Massive asteroids buzzing at incredible speed can destroy space bases and spaceships. Limited sunlight on this dwarf planet can cause depression. Its lack of atmosphere and magnetic field will hardly produce a beneficial effect on human health. Colonization of Europa is another opportunity for humanity to survive off planet Earth. The icy crust of Jupiter's fourth biggest moon can reveal whole oceans of liquid water to be used for technical and domestic purposes. On the downside, Europa is showered with deadly radiation that a human will not survive without significant radiation shielding. Also, its normal temperature is not very comfortable to live in. Admit it, at minus 170 degrees Celsius, you will not last long. Plus, Europa's low gravity can ultimately result in complete muscle atrophy. Moreover, according to scientists, children born in a zero-gravity environment will not be able to adapt to Earth conditions. And let's not forget local residents possibly inhabiting Europa's liquid waters. These pleasing creatures will surely not be happy to share their home with us. 
Titan. Saturn's largest moon may not be the best place for a permanent residence, but quite appropriate as a terminal base for those heading to remote corners of the solar system. On second thought, living there is not impossible. Titan has an atmosphere consisting of nitrogen at 90% and hydrocarbons, something that not each celestial body can offer. The atmospheric pressure on Titan's surface is about 1.5 Earth atmospheres, which is quite suitable for humans. Research by Jacques Cousteau in his underwater village carried out as far back as 1962 to 63 proved that people can have a pretty comfortable life at two atmospheres. Titan's dense atmosphere shields it from meteorites and radiation. Additionally, it solves the problem of transportation. Without roadways and proper infrastructure, aircraft will be the only vehicles available. As for problems posed by the atmosphere of Titan, there are two of them. First, mixtures of hydrocarbons and oxygen are highly explosive. And second, we'll have to develop adequate thermal insulation and heat generation. Houses on Titan must be dome-like and constructed of air gel, which would preclude the necessity to armor buildings and transport to Titan large-size construction equipment. Similarly, we wouldn't need expensive and heavy pressurized suits. An oxygen mask and insulating clothing would do just fine. And what's more important, in case of decompression, chances are you will hold out much longer than in open space. These are the five major bodies that humans can colonize. However, advances in science and technology have added to the list yet another excellent destination for massive extraterrestrial migration. A team of NASA experts developing the Kepler Astronomical Satellite Project have discovered a new planet that is potentially suitable for extraterrestrial expansion of humans. The new Earth Kepler 186F is about 10% larger than our planet, but its chemical composition and approximate mass are still unknown. Scientists assume the planet may have liquid water. The newly found Kepler 186F resides in the five planet system orbiting the star named Kepler 186, 60% the size of the Sun and somewhat colder than the Sun. The newly discovered system has been found in the constellation of Cygnus, about 500 light years from Earth. Kepler 186F is the only planet in its system orbiting the star at a distance large enough for a liquid water to exist on the surface of the planet located in the so-called habitable zone.